Hey, hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss about operation and operation Q. So let's first discuss that what is operation. So if you see the definition of operation, it says that it's an abstract class that represents the code and data associated with a single task. So what it says that it's an abstract class. Now abstract class is not something which is there in Swift. It's more a concept of object oriented programming. But when we say that it's an abstract class, that means it will not have something its own implemented. That operation is a wrapper around some work that we would like to execute. Okay, so more for formally, we can say that abstract class when subclass will perform a given task. It's built on top of GCD, which allow us to focus less on details of how concurrent execution will be done and more on the implementation of our business logic. Operation can help us with tasks that require more time to complete such as network calls or data processing. Now let's see that how we can use this operation through this block operation uh, concrete class. Now if you read about block operation, what it says that it's a class, concrete subclass of operation that manages the concurrent execution of one or more block. So whenever you have to use operation, we have to use block operation in Swift. Now let's see that how we can use this block operation to achieve a uh, multi-threading or concurrency in Swift. Now if you see here, I have uh, created a function called taste operation queue where I have a print uh, which prints operation started and then the block function where I have created an object of block operation and then I'm executing multiple block inside this operation. And finally, I'm calling this start to start my operation. Okay, now let's run and see the output. So if you see the print statement, here it printed operation started. That's the first print statement that it came here. And then it called block operation. Now inside the block operation, we have first print as please subscribe to app developer. Now if you see here, the sequence was not the same the way we actually wrote so and then finally we have operation ended now if, let me run it one more time and see if the print statement go, or the sequence gets changed this time now this time also if you see this block this part of block had different sequence or different order but first was this and the last was operation ended now few things that you have to understand from here that that this block operation when you add this execution block these runs in asynchronous order it means that it's not like that first you have added uh, this this block so this block will get completed first it can be in any order so here your order is not guaranteed and the other thing which you see which is the most important thing is that this operation in date is always getting printed in the last that means that this block operation is synchronous in nature that means it's blocking your thread where you are starting it in this case i'm starting this on the main thread so it's blocking the main thread and that's the reason that this is not the perfect way of uh, using operation because uh, let's say that if you have to perform some ui operations after this function call so you cannot do it because until unless this function has completed uh, or completely finished you cannot have any uh, further execution then what is a proper way to use this block operation now here if you see we have another thing which is called operation queue so what is operation queue so a queue that regulates the execution of operations so this operation queue task is just to regulate the way your block operation this block operations are going to get executed now if you see here we have multiple thing the first thing is the queue priority now it is something which we have already seen in gcd like we have uh, the priority where you can see uh, user initiated or user interactive background here also if you see you you have the quality of service here that you can define based on how much priority that particular block will be executed and apart from that we have some other uh, properties like for example maximum current operation count if you go to definition here this you can define the maximum number of queued operation that can run at a particular time. Okay, so this is both gator and setter. You can define it uh, and we'll see this in, in the example also. And we have operation count, which will give you how many operations are basically uh, the number of operations currently in the queue. 
and we have is suspended which will a boolean value indicating whether the queue is actively scheduling operations for execution so in the example the methods that we will be using will be the add operations so here you can add operation to the queue okay and you also have uh, some method like cancel all the operation it will just cancel all the operations you have add barrier block and then you also have uh, methods like wait until all operations are finished like let's that you want to perform as a specific set of tasks when all the operations are finished in that case we can use this method and this we can use to define the quality of service like background or using interactive based on uh, how much important that task is so the main benefit of operation queues are like we can use the operation queues for monitoring opera operation changes of a state by using k view we can also use operation queue for cancelable option let's say that if you want to cancel at any point of time uh, it also have option to run concurrent queue where you can define the maximum uh, number of concurrent operations it also has uh, the option to run serialized queue and it also have the support for additional completion block when all the operation queue are finished now let's see this operation queue into the example now here I have already created this uh, operation so let me do instead of just starting this operation let me create a queue object let operation queue equals to operation queue I'm going to add my operation so here I have just one operation so I'll just add this and then now the moment you add the operation then for further task the operation queue will take now you don't need to start your uh, block operation now at this point of time now let's run and see what difference we see when we use uh, this block operation with the operation queue and when we use it directly now let me stop and run this once again now here the major difference which uh, i can see here is that this operation ended get call before even completing this block operation so when actually you use this uh, add operation what is happening that operation queue is adding that operation into some background thread now you can also define uh, actually the quality of service here so let's say that dot quality of service equals to dot background or default whatever you want to uh, add let's say that i added background so instead of now you can also do the same thing at the block operation uh, level also but instead of doing at the block operation it's always good to have added this at the operation queue level so this is a better way compared to using that directly the block operation because in this case your main thread is not getting blocked so it's always good to keep your main thread as free as possible now let's see some other common uh, programming uh, interview questions that can ask you on this part now instead of having this many operation here now let me add a for loop here so for i in 0 to let's say 5 and print i okay now let me create one more operation i'll call it as operation 1 and this will i call it as 2 and here I'll start from 6 to 10 okay and I'm going to add both the operation at one point of time so now the question can be like what will be the output sequence for this try to see what will be the output for this example now let me run it So here what is happening that these operations are getting executed in asynchronous order there is no order that first this uh, block operation is going to complete then the next block operation is going to start okay now let's say that if i want that first my uh, block operation one need to be completed then block operation two or i want one operation at one point of time so if you want that at any point of time only one operation should be executed then we already have seen the property which we can use dot max concurrent operation count and this we can set to one that means that at any point of time only one block operation will be executed so let me just stop and run it again and this time the output is that the first 
the first block executed and then the next block got executed okay now similarly if you have more operations also let's say that if i have one more operation here operation 3 then also at as we have defined just uh, one operation it will just execute one at a time so 11 to let's say 15 and this time also the sequence will be guaranteed because it will executing one block at one point of time okay now okay now there's another thing which we read about first to add the dependency now let's say that you have a scenario where uh, you are making some api call for fetching the user data and uh, fetching the user image now you have the condition that the user data has to be first computed then only you, you should fetch the user image so in that case you can use this dependency now for example i can add the dependency like here in this case that my operation 1 or operation 2 has a dependency on operation 1 okay add dependency to operation 1 so in this case what will happen and i'm just commenting this operation 3 so i'm just running operation 1 and operation 2 so here what i'm telling is that operation 2 has a dependency on operation 1 so first operation 1 will get complete then only operation 2 will start oh let me run it again and this time also the output will be in the sequence in order now if you see here first the operation 1 got completed right reprinted from 0 to 5 and then only it started the next operation so that's all for uh, today's video hope you have understood what is operation queue and what is block operation and then how you can add the dependency of one operation on another operation thanks for watching this video